Hello everyone, I recently got out this video right there, essentially answering a question about how to get good at WebGL, a graphics library to do beautiful things on the web that I am a big fan of, and that is one of the main reasons why I am today a software engineer. And uh, after making this video, I thought about the bigger picture, and made me think a little bit about, like, how did I learn coding in general? And I thought it was worth it to talk about it on a little bit of a video, showing you how I did it, and just having another perspective, so that you can react to it, disagree, spark some fights in the comments, about which IDE is better, and so on and so forth. So like the first question that I think a lot of beginners even start with is why learning coding to begin with? So I am not too too sure because we're talking about 11 years old Marius right now, and it might also seem insanely cliche. This movie might be at the origin of why I am in this common career. The Social Network, a 2010 movie about the beginning of Facebook. So again, insanely cliche, but watching this, I was just like, damn, this looks so fucking cool. Like, being able to create shit directly from a computer, looking like a genius doing it, and yet essentially Hollywood did its magic on my 11 years old brain at the time. And so I, I again, I think this is just speculating on very, very old memories, but I was like, dude, this looks like something that I could maybe do for 40 years as an actual career. And actually, here we are today. At 23 years old, right? So the thing is, like, how to get started? Like, what does what does coding is even? And uh, I I think maybe everyone in this career made this Google research once in their lifetime. I started with how to learn coding, and you realize that, or at least nowadays, this question is just insanely stupid. Coding is so fast. It's just so many different topics and many many different branches touching many many different industries. And it will be the same question as how do I learn art? Essentially, like you. you you don't learn art, right? You learn about different processes. Would you like painting, culinary arts, cinema? What, what would you like to get into? And this was the same thing. I think it took me three tries to get going into coding. Like every time watching a tutorial here, but like understand like, wait, this is not related to the previous video that I was did, watching this, that, whatever. And uh, the dream didn't really go on for a long time until I arrived on the English YouTube Academy. This was at a time where I was starting to fiddle around with video editing, After Effects, Obviously a legit copy, yeah, for sure. And uh, I realized that the French YouTube space was not going to be able to answer all of my questions when I wanted to learn something. So this is maybe also the reason why I know English nowadays. I started to look into English tutorials, understanding half the words, but I arrive in this brand new gigantic pool of online free education that was so, so cool. And this was also at the time where I discovered this channel right there, the coding train. I might say something stupid right now, but I, I don't think there is one single person who's a software engineer around me where we talked about what we were on YouTube or whatever, and this guy didn't come up at some point. This dude was at the origin of my first lines of code using something called processing. That is right there. We talked about it in a previous video. This is also the book that is like, can you see this right there? Yeah, we talked about it in a previous video, so watch all of them to go back to it. But yeah, that was my first time being like, ooh, a line of code that actually exports something. Like, I am actually producing stuff. I'm not playing around with just a little terminal or shit like that. And this was what exploded my brain, essentially. This was the thing that made me realize, yeah, yeah, no, no, this is, th this, this, is what, this is what I want to do. And, uh, Honestly, at the time, why starting with this? I wasn't even realizing I, I learned coding. I didn't consider this coding. I was like, yeah, you're just doing like a bunch of shape or whatever, and you did, it's, it's essentially a translator from English to a visual thing. I wasn't considering that coding, essentially. I was like, yeah, the, the, it, it must be something way more involved than plotting rectangles and circles on an actual screen, right? But actually, what this taught me was the very, 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 very basic of programming, which is algorithms and that kind of good stuff. And like shaping your brain into resolving problems a certain way. And so, again, take all of my tips with a grain of salt, as I always said. If you want to learn coding, if you have a visual way of thinking, and if you want to get started somewhere to just even like try it out, this YouTube channel is just pure gold, pure, pure gold. V very honestly, I don't know. I don't know if this YouTube channel didn't exist. I'm not even sure if I would have a career today. It's just packed full of information, ways of decomposing a problem, and so many things that are just used in the industry. So for, for example, Git and GitHub, which are tools that are used everywhere in the industry, this YouTube channel has a tutorial, and this is what actually taught me 
Git and GitHub. And this is one example. This channel has so many things that not only allow you to discover different industries and processes, but makes it so, so, so interesting. And so we talked about processing, we talked about Git, but also goes into p5.js, which is, I'm, I'm sorry to butcher it, but essentially processing for the web. And just by watching these tutorials, there you go. Now you have your foot into the world of web development. You will not be an expert at it by the end of all of these tutorials, but at least you have a little taste about everything that is around it in a, in a beginning. Like you need to have your script in a scripting tag that is related to JavaScript, which that is in an HTML document, which runs in the browser that uses this, this and that to be able to display things on the screen. And yeah, this is just a, this is just a gold mine. So I, I, I really wanted to start this video with the idea in mind of like how to learn programming for visual learners. But I think like this is more of, a, of an actual like showcase of why this YouTube channel is so great. But honestly, yeah, you have so many things right there that can help you out. The thing that I love about this as well is that like it touches so many branches of programming in different industries that once you have your foot inside of these industries, having those little like words and sentences related to them, this is what allows you to then do your own research. For example, talking about P5, once you are getting going with these tutorials, you know a few words, you know about libraries, you know about JavaScript, functions, classes. This allows you to make your own research and understand what you know and what you don't know and just being able to keep going like this. I think this is the hard part with coding in the beginning. It's it's understanding what you are looking for, how to make the research around it, and understand this gigantic tree of multiple technologies and different expertise that you can actually touch in this future career of yours. Yeah. There you go. That was just a couple of other minutes of me yapping to camera. But uh, some of you people seem to enjoy it and get some good information out of it. I do be reading my comments and try to answer some questions and actually make some videos about them. This actual video was actually because of a comment I got in a previous, previous video. So yeah, don't hesitate to give me your opinion, share your experience. You yourself don't hesitate to answer actual questions in the comments down below if you are a professional as well. Like, subscribe, stimulate that YouTube algorithm. That is it for me. And I see you all soon on the internet. Bye-bye everyone.